everybody, Sarah with Keys of the Kingdom here, and I am just going to refresh my screen here, see if anybody wants to hop on for my live, but I am going to review this Bible today, the Spirit-Filled Life Bible, King James Version, but before I start that, just a side note <clears throat> on my review of this Bible that is already up on my YouTube I have uh, gone through and actually chosen two winners and no one has contacted me to mail them the Bible. And so comment on this live video and awesome. So let me know if you guys can hear me okay also and see everything okay. So um, by commenting on this live video, you will be entered in a chance to win the Evangelical Study Bible, which you can see my review on YouTube, uh, on my YouTube channel because nobody contacted me for the Bible. And I'm actually going to go ahead and probably give both of these away because um, it's not something that I will probably use frequently. Uh, but so comment on the video for that. And you can see that review on my YouTube channel. And then I'm also going to review this Bible here today. And as you can see, I have two of these and I am debating actually giving both of these away. Uh, I really uh, think I will like this commentary, but I'm thinking about getting a different translation. Even though I like the King James, I think for my personal readability, I might uh, try to get the NLT with this same commentary. So I might give both of these away also, but comment on this and I will leave this um, opportunity to win probably up for, I don't know, I may leave this open and choose a winner within the next three days and give everybody a, a chance to comment below. Um, I would say comment below with uh, what you would do if you win one of these Bibles, what you would do with the Bible. Okay, so here's an extra one of those one that's going to be going to a winner, and maybe this one will too, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the King James Version, and thank you to Thomas Nelson for sending me these Bibles in exchange for my honest review of them. So let's take a look at this beautiful thing. This is just the box, and the box itself is really nice. Kingdom equipping through the word through the power of the word. Jack Hayford, Hayford, executive editor on this one. And this is beautiful. I'm going to look at the back of the box first. Encounter the power of the word. Walk in the freedom God intends. Experience the presence of the Holy Spirit. For the King James Version Spirit-Filled Life Bible, Jack Hayford, founding pastor of the Church on the Way, the chancellor of the King's University, assembled a team of respected spirit-led scholars to produce this resource of solid biblical truth. Now, in a full color third edition, with many new contributions, the King James Version Spirit-Filled Life Bible continues to equip God's people to live in his kingdom, exercise gifts of the Spirit, and lay hold of God's promises. Features include word wealth. More than 650 word studies shed light on key terms drawing important meaning from the original Greek and Hebrew. Kingdom dynamics. Dozens of biblical themes are addressed in notes by Spirit-Filled preachers, teachers, and writers, including Many new contributions for this edition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Truth in action. Helpful thematic charts provide practical application from every book of the Bible. Praying the word. Brief but potent prayers throughout the Bible based directly on scripture. Detailed book introductions and outlines help you to learn each book's historical background and teachings verse by verse. Study notes. Explain each passage and illuminate your understanding. Clear and readable nine-point type. And here is an example of the nine-point type. And also, Thomas Nelson has uh, a lifetime guarantee on their Bibles. And you can look at their website, thomasnelsonbibles.com slash guarantee, to see all the details of that. And so now we're going to take a look at this beautiful Bible. This is the leather-like purple edition of this Bible. And it is beautiful. I didn't have a Bible this color. And so I saw the purple and thought I would like to try that one. And it has this beautiful silver gilding 
all the way around it. It is beautiful. Let's take a look at this. Okay, it is, looks like about six, it's just shy of six and a half by nine and a half or 16 and a half centimeters by 24 centimeters. Okay, so there's your inches and your centimeters. And we have how thick? Uh, one and three quarters inch thick or four and a half centimeters. Okay, so there is that. And this retails for, I think the retail list price on this is $79.99. And I found it today on Amazon for $52.99. And I will list uh, different places where you can find that. I'm actually <laughs> hoping this comes out well. I'm doing this live and I actually have a phone over here that's recording because I also wanted to put this on my YouTube channel. And, but I really wanted to do these lives on here with you guys because I seem to get more attention and I like being able to interact with people in the lives. So I wanted to swap over from just doing them on my YouTube and then this way we can interact at least that way if you have questions or anything you can do it that way and I figured I would get a little more interaction on the giveaways over here because I couldn't believe that I drew uh, two names on that last Bible and I commented on there and left it up oh my gosh probably two three weeks for each one and nobody emailed me back to say here's my address send me this brand new Bible and that Bible is a the, the one that uh, nobody claimed two people, uh, that's a genuine leather Bible. And I'm going to give both of those away. So <laughs> anyway, uh, yes, Carmen, this purple and silver is really pretty. It really is. Okay, so let's dig into this beauty. So it's got your presented to page, Spirit Filled Life Bible, third edition. And it's got, of course, Thomas Nelson. Oh, I didn't look at this fine. Sorry about that. King James Version, Spirit Filled Life Bible, King James. And it's got the Thomas Nelson logo and it really is pretty. It's got an image of a dove on the front. It's just really nice. So it's got contents, spirit, spirit filled life mission statement. Very nice contents and introduction. Introductory Addendum to the Spirit-Filled Life Bible 3rd Edition. Contributors. I'd be curious to see who the contributors were for this one. So I haven't, I haven't really dug into this Bible and I'm uh, excited to do that. Although, like I said, I think I'm going to get the NLT of this for my personal study. But I think the commentary on this um, will be something that I will probably use. Kingdom Dynamics, and then it tells about that particular resource. Oh, and has different Kingdom Dynamics. It's listing them in different groups. Spiritual Foundations, Prayer Power, Personal Growth, Spiritual Empowerment, Spiritual Unity, Spiritual Leadership, Stewardship of Life and Resources, Supernatural Ministry, and In-Depth Articles. Cool. Getting started with Kingdom Dynamics. Ooh. Oh yes, this is this is something that I will really like. I can already tell. Love it. Spirit-filled family, biblical women, biblical men. Oh yeah, this is cool. Word wealth. Oh my gosh, word wealth index. And it talks about different words and then it gives the Greek or Hebrew word, and then it tells you where to find that word. Oh, this is cool. Oh yeah, I can already tell I am, I'm already making a decision right now that I'm going to be trying to get the NLT of this Bible with this commentary because this looks so nice. Praying the word, praying the word index. Okay, so it's listing scriptures here. And then it's got the truth in action. And then it shows how they have done it. It's got a little number over here. And it says the truth of what it is. And then it says the action that's related to that. That's cool. 
<clears throat> Old Testament truth and action charts, New Testament truth and action charts, more charts, in-text maps, special abbreviations and what those are, and books of the Old Bible, uh, books of the Old and New Testaments and their abbreviations. And then we're digging right here into the Old Testament. Okay, so it's got a nice introduction page here. First book of Moses called Genesis. Author, traditionally Moses. Date, about 1440 BC. Theme, beginnings, keywords, created, covenant, and generations. And then it's got information about the author, the date, the content. My oh, goodness, personal application. Christ revealed the Holy Spirit at work. And then it's got an outline of the book of Genesis. This is really cool. And then, of course, as you can see on the pages here, it has your word wealth, your kingdom dynamics. Here's another word wealth over here. And then here, down at the bottom, you have your commentary. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Let's dig into this. Okay, here is a full in text map. That's really nice. Oh, this one's showing the descendants of Japheth, Ham, and Shem. Cool. Nice, nice. Okay, so we have two columns here, and then our references are in the center of the pages, and again with the commentary on bottom. And this, if I didn't say before, I think I did, uh, is a nine-point font. And as I am just scrolling through here, I can see that it's a bright white page, which I is my personal preference. I love that. And... It's got a tiny little bit of margin here, so I guess if you wanted to take a, <laughs> if you wrote really tiny, you might be able to take notes, but I think for me, this would be more of a study Bible. Uh, although I do like to take notes when I am in my study Bibles. This says the furniture of the tabernacle. Oh, cool. And it's got drawings and then a list of what each thing is. That's really nice. Can you lift it up a second close to the camera just to see the letters up close? Yes, I can. Maybe. Let's see. I don't know if that's going to help you or not. Let me know if that helps. It's a pretty um, nice font style, if that makes sense. Of course. That's a good point. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, it does have a, it's, it's a readable font. Um, I don't have any issues with my eyes. I, I do wear glasses, but I don't have any really big major issues with my eyes. And I'm farsighted, so up close I can see really, really well. So um, it's not a huge font, but it's a very clear and readable font. And I like the bright white page again. Let's see, let's flip through here. We've got, of course, more word wealth. I like that all this is full color. Let's see, we have two nice purple ribbon bookmarks in here with this outline of Ecclesiastes. Okay, so that's going to be your outline there. Here's the kingdom. Here's where it's showing uh, like some of the kingdom dynamics. Let's see if I can. I'm waiting for a second to. Uh, So you can see, there we go. Okay, so you can see those things too and not just the text of the Bible. Let's see. And here is the other beautiful, nice ribbon bookmark and they're pretty purple and they match uh, the Bible very nicely. And then, so we're coming into the New Testament and, oh, that's, one of my favorite features about Bibles is the red text. So the text of Jesus is in red, which I love. I love, I love that. It's so nice. At least that's just my personal preference. I really like that it is red letter. Okay, so here, let's hold up and see if you can, I wanna hold up the commentary down on the bottom of this page also. So, well, this way. Maybe the other way. There we go. Okay. 
<laughs> you get a lovely uh, view of my arm right there. Sorry, guys. And so the commentary, there's the commentary. That's a good view of it. It is smaller than, of course, the regular font type. So this is a nice truth in action. And 2 Timothy teaches, it says growing in godliness over here. And then it talks about um, the action about how to do that, which is cool. I love that kind of thing. It's very helpful because sometimes you can read God's word and say, well, that's great, but how does that apply to me today? And how do I do that? So I think that's a really helpful tool. I really, I really can tell that I'll like this uh, commentary and all of those pieces to help. Let's see. Okay, so we're in Revelation here. Holy Spirit gifts and power. Paul Walker. Okay, so this has <laughs> talks about the Holy Spirit gifts and power. And this is after the book of Revelation here. And it's got oh, a lot of stuff in here. So that's nice. That's helpful if you're curious about um, the Holy Spirit gifts and walking in the power of the Holy Spirit, which I personally am. So I like that. The key of suffering, unlocking God's glory. Okay, that's probably helpful to all of us. Yes, worship and intercession, the calling of all believers. Ooh, this has some... Yeah, it looks, it is, this is a pretty amazing one. A flame with passion for world evangelism. The believer's potential and pathway for ministering healing to the nations. Understanding Messianic Jewish ministry. There are a lot of really nice articles after Revelation here. Okay, let's see. How to lead someone to Jesus, which is... You know what we're told to do and then it's got a concordance in the back so that's really nice really nice i really am liking this bible a lot oh. okay and then it's got full color maps and here is the note regarding the type font and then full color maps here in the back so that that's a really nice bible i really like that a lot uh, again i'm going to try to get the nlt uh, version, I think, for myself to study, so I'll uh, probably do a review on that as well. And then uh, I doubt that I'll have one to give away of that, but <laughs> honestly, they, uh, the publisher sent me duplicates of this particular order by mistake, and so that's why I have some to give away. But um, so there's that. I would say comment below with uh, yeah, what you're going to do with this Bible if you win it. And I'll leave the the, the uh, review giveaway open on, again, this Bible and the Bible that I mentioned before. So I'm going to be giving, I may give all four of them away. Um, maybe just three, but maybe four. So comment below. And if you, the, the ribbons are really nice size. They're, they're kind of thicker than, than, um, some other Bibles that I have seen. So I, I really like that. So yeah, comment below with any um, questions you may have or anything, and I will try to pop on and answer any questions, which is one reason that I like this format better than YouTube. Um, I just wanted to come on here and do a really quick live to uh, get this out, to honestly get this out of the way because I have uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I have like a dozen other Bibles that I need to do reviews on. So I'm going to be hopping on here fairly frequently so I can get quite a bit of this stuff done <laughs> and give some of it away. So uh, I love you guys. Thanks for hopping on. Comment below with any questions and that way I'll be able to see it and answer any questions you may have. And Hopefully this was helpful and I can't wait to choose winners and get these out to you. Love you guys and thanks again for hopping on. God bless you. Bye.